What's up guys, we are back again with another video. Uh, kind of cool install today we'll be doing on my, uh, on my 69 generator shovel here. Um, it is this thing, it's called the Super Clutch. It is made by Sugar Baby Cycles on, uh, that, that's their Instagram. Um, it's, it's, it's a really, like, it seems like a really cool design. Uh, down here in Florida, it's not as big of an issue uh, right now, but it does become an issue as it keeps getting warmer and warmer. Granted, it is, it's already in the 80s down here, um, where you'll, you'll be at a stoplight and you start to, you start to feel your clutch kind of, uh, or your bike starting to lurch a little bit. Um, I know there's other tricks I've tried on, they haven't worked the best for me. Um, also, what this is supposed to do, it's supposed to allow your clutch engagement and everything to be a lot smoother as well. That's something that I've struggled on with this bike. I should have uh, I should have built it a little bit better um, because with the with the foot clutch setup, um, I, I I I thought I made it how like how how I was thinking I was going to make it. I obviously didn't because uh, in order to in order to engage it and all that stuff, I have to take my foot completely off the peg, um, which isn't an issue at all. But getting going just from a stoplight, it's a little um, uh, it can be kind of like tricky to get, get going just because. Your, your your foot is just kind of hovering on the pedal. Um, so you'll like go a little bit and then it'll be kind of jerky every now and then. Uh, this is supposed to help smooth all that stuff out. It probably doesn't help that I have a five finger uh, clutch basket um, and I also have one of those like aluminum backing plates as well. So more into this, uh, Sugar Baby Cycles Super Clutch um, comes with your outer like keeper ring. This is, the, this is the big thing right here. It comes with this diaphragm. So it replaces your clutch springs with more of a, uh, more of like a big diaphragm spring. And then you have that, uh, you have this big aluminum kind of keeper plate uh, or like pressure plate, I guess. So basically how it works like that, this on top of it with your stock one behind it. Um, they do give you, when, when you get it, they do give you uh, instructions as to, uh, as to how to put it together. They have some pretty cool packaging as well. Um, so they give you the breakdown as to what you need to take off your bike, what you need to install it, as well as, uh, as, well as some clutch uh, maintenance points as well, which I, think is, which I think is really nice. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna get my outer primary off and then we'll, we'll get back to putting this on. Okay. Outer primary is out of the way. So next thing, you just gotta take all this stuff off. Um, I'm sure if you're watching this, you're aware of this trick. I'll you just loosen up this throwout bearing nut. Take this all the way off. From here, loosen this up a little bit. There goes that, which is to be expected, but and from there, you just got your washers. Boom. And from here, 9 16 wrench. There you go. And then you just don't have your springs flinging everywhere. Granted, since these springs aren't going to be on here anymore, it's not the uh, it's not the biggest deal of the world if they would go anywhere. It's just, I don't know, a lot less of a pain doing this way and you can you can just take all these nuts off by hand once you get them once you get them loosened up instead of uh instead of taking them off and squinting because they're about to fly all over your garage and trying to find them if you lose one or whatever there we go that uh that pulls off so next, I'm just going to loosen this up, and your springs go flying anyways. <laughs> we are going to start with this, with the sticker facing out. So there we go. Fits on there nice. 
So it, it, it does it does take up it does take up some space. You put your diaphragm on there. It's in the recess. And then from there, that's on there. And then this with lip down, I believe it just said, place number two, original spring collar with lip facing down over installed super clutch collar. So your stock one where all the springs just went flying on me. Remember that just a second ago, like that. Now screw remaining nuts onto remaining clutch studs at a depth of six to 10 threads or 0.4 inches from top of nut to top of stud. Nut depth must be even. So from there, I'm excited to see how this, how this works. I think it's gonna work pretty good. Everything I've seen online about it, people, people say it works really, uh, really amazing. So I'm certainly curious. All right, guys, got this all installed. Um, it's getting dark out. I'm getting eaten alive by bugs in here. So I am going to call it a night on this, but I mean, this took, I mean, you guys saw it took all of five minutes to do. So it's, uh, it's, it's really quick to do, which is, which is really nice. Um, I was an idiot before I just measured 0.4 uh, on, my on my digital caliper. Shout out Harbor Freight. Um, and yeah, just all these are 0.4. Uh, really, really simple to adjust. Uh, next up, I just got I just gotta put my outer primary on, get everything hooked back up to the pedal, and then uh, adjust my throw out, throw out bearing. Um, when so got everything put together with the super clutch. Um, Really excited to try it, but then I noticed when I would uh, when I'd engage the clutch or push down on my clutch pedal, uh, the super clutch was hitting my was hitting my outer primary to the point where I was pushing it completely. So um, I got to figure out some space some spacing stuff. Uh, basically, what I'm going to try first is I'm going to grind down. Let me hold this. Grind down these a bit and that should give me some uh that should give me some clearance i just put all these all these uh screws in here loctite and i'm really good so uh i'm hoping that helps and uh that should give me the clearance i need uh I, like i i, I did i did ride it like that just to see what it was like just to see if it would clear itself but i definitely need to work on it a little bit um it does it, it's definitely a lot smoother than than the stock clutch setup which is which is really cool to see i'm excited to get this clearance and hopefully hopefully this fixes the issue and we are uh and we're good to go. So I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this clearanced. Uh, with that, I got I got this awesome uh, Milwaukee M12, just right angle die grinder, um, or just right angle grinder. Uh, man, man, if you're if you don't have an air compressor like me, this is so nice. Um, you can put die grinder bits on the end. You can just put uh, grinder wheels on the end. Uh, this is just like a roll lock wheel on the end, and um, yeah, it works. It works wonders. That's that's for sure. So I'm gonna get these. I'm gonna get these ground down. Put it on. See if that fixes my issue. Uh, the biggest thing with that, once I get it ground down, I'm I'm not gonna want to take this cover off because I have a feeling the screws are gonna be pretty pretty messed up. But that's just gonna be uh, that's just gonna be part of it. So we'll see how this works. All right, we got a winner. Grinding down those really helped. Doesn't seem like we have any flex. Before you could before the whole oil tank. Uh, mount would flex as well. So I bent I bent these tabs out a little bit. That seems to help. And then I ground all those down. The problem I had to grind them down so much to where the screws don't screw in there anymore. I still I, I still got three. So these ones I'll just have to glue in. Uh, no big deal. That'll like that that'll be fine. I'll probably put a little bit of glue uh, completely around the derby cover as well just to make sure it's seated. Uh, I mean it's a dry primary so it's fine. It's kind of uh, kind of just for for looks, the derby cover and whatnot, but, um, but yeah, I'm excited to get this all back together. So I'm gonna get it back together, and then I'll take you guys, uh, take you guys for a ride with me, and kind of show you how it performs. I'm excited to get some miles on it this summer, and uh, see how it does in the heat. But I'm really happy that that's uh, that that's fixed, and uh, and we seem good. It doesn't seem like there's any more flexing. I mean, I'll know for sure if I got clearance issues once I uh, once I actually ride it. But we are good to go. All right, super clutch installed. Probably got about 50 to 70 miles on it so far. Uh, works pretty good. Biggest thing, gotta make sure your throw up bearing is 
um, is totally adjusted correctly. My other setup, I could kind of get away with, uh, I guess not having it adjusted the best. Um, works really good. It is, it is super tight clearance with mine, maybe because my transmission is a little bit further ahead from some other people's. That's just how my belt drive setup has it. Um, I did have to shave down the inside of my outer primary in there. Um, and yeah, I just have it out right now. I have my derby cover off just so I can kind of show you guys all the details. It does, it smooths out the pedal big time. It's uh, it's way smoother. It's actually a really, really great product for that. Um, I have noticed a little less lurching at stoplights. Um, I think as, as time goes on and everything kind of gets like worn into place more, um, I'll be able to adjust, adjust some stuff more and really get it fine tuned. But overall, really solid setup. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's great.
guys next time.